Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Box. To my very, very last knit crate unboxing. So, this will be my absolute last knit crate unboxing for sure because I won't be I won't be um subscribing again. I did actually um berate these scissors, but um that I got free with that magazine, but <laughs> They've come in handy so many times so um inside this one um i'll do this review first and then i'll review all my knit knit crates on that mass so last week or month sorry last month which took over a month they sent this poly bag knit crate previously knit crate box so this this time around we're back to boxes so I did actually um, email them and give them some feedback on the fact that they were using these poly bags because although they're sturdy, they're very, very sturdy and they arrived here. I mean, a lot of my, a lot of my subscribers commented, especially about the environmental issues and stuff. So I did actually give them some feedback on, um, on that and the service so far. So now I received my new knit crate in a box. I also pointed out what people had said about their free gift. So I think the interesting thing about this knit crate is there isn't one. <laughs> so I don't even deserve the stickers this time round because I complained. But the yarn's nice and soft. It's Vidalana Celestial. It's quite an interesting colour. Obviously there's always two skeins, but it's lovely and soft. Um, hang on. Hank, if you dropped a yarn ball, maybe that's the free gift. That's the free gift, but they have forgotten to put the booklet in. You know the booklet that gives you all of the patterns and all of the lowdown on the yarn? It's not there. So, um empty just this paper that surrounds it this oh hang on a minute wait 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 a card march 2021 so this is march is knit crate only a little late so um download your patterns I've got this little card reader thing you point your camera at it and it downloads it don't think I like that idea as much as a physical book. I mean, without being rude to people, there's an awful lot of people that knit that are not computer and phone savvy. Um, my mum could never have done that. If she was an, um, a person who wanted to subscribe to Knit Crate, her phone wouldn't have had the capability to do this for a start and she wouldn't have had a clue how to do that so i don't know if that's a good i mean it's it's a great idea if you're if you're young and technically minded well not necessarily young i mean i'm quite technically minded i'm not young by any stretch of the imagination but um it's a bit high tech in that in that respect really for a lot of people um what if you don't have um what if you just don't you just don't have that kind of smartphone um not everybody does you know i know a lot most people do and a lot of people i think this is a sticker guys i think <laughs> i just got one large sticker this time i did point out that i only had two stickers where other people had more but <laughs> this time around I got a sticker that says honk if you dropped your yarn ball so therefore I guess it's a, a bumper sticker but I wouldn't really want to put that on my car to be honest with you honk honk if it said hank I think it it does say hank look it says hank not honk I don't get it anywho back to the yarn it's really really soft it's really nice it's the best colour they've sent me so far I have to say so what does it say about it I've got my little neck light ready 90% alpaca 10% tensile Aran weight so it's a four 
150 yards, 137 meters, 100 grams. Hand wash gently and dry flat. Mm, it isn't bad. I like it. As all of the yarns they've sent me go, this one is the nicest, I have to say. Not really sure about... I mean, free gifts aside, they obviously cut him back. They have to because of what happened this last year. I know they're an online company and stuff, but they couldn't get their stock. So I know it kind of decimated them a bit, but still. And uh, this might be a bit of a no-no for a lot of people. I mean, I don't like, I like to have a physical thing to look through when I'm looking at patterns and stuff like that. It's not such a major deal for me because I don't, don't really follow those patterns. I just use them maybe for inspiration. So last time, looking back at what we got last time. Wow, this seems so fat compared to that one. These two Hanks. Interesting, nice, nice-ish colour, not too bad. So what did what I didn't really probably look at this, did I? Forget me not. This one was uh, eighty percent alpaca, ten percent silk, ten percent camel. Two hundred thirty-one yards, two hundred eleven meters, hundred grams. Nice and soft. So that wasn't a bad one. Stickers were a joke, and the book's not here, but it was there. And the first one. That's not part of it, that was Sadie's. And these two, now these feel quite rough compared to those. My very first ever experience of Knit Crate was this one. And it wasn't the greatest experience to have because this one feels a lot rougher. Why? Shall we have a look? What did it say? 80% wool, 10% silk, 10% mohair, DK, 231 yards, 211 metres. So, did that one have a, a size? Did I read the size? I think it did. Oh, DK. Feels really fat for a DK, this one, though. But, but see, lovely and soft, not so. But that's the wool, I guess. But I have to say, out of all of them, the newer one, the newer one is the nicest yarn that I've received. They are kind of nice colours, all of these. They're not in a, they're not offensive colours. Possibly not anything I would have chosen, but I like this one. This one's a little bit more, a little bit more me, I would say. But so as a review for Knit Crate, for my three experiences, I have to say that I'm not, I'm not the most impressed <laughs> that I, I would have liked to have been. I'm not as impressed as I'd have liked to have been. When I used to watch people online open Knit Crate or across the pond, I always used to feel like, I really want to get one. I really want to do that. I wish I could subscribe. So when I saw the um, subscribe for three months, I thought I would do that then and um, give them a try. So I feel somehow as well that I don't want to shortchange them. I feel like I was unlucky to subscribe at a time when the, the pandemic hit and the company was not at their best. Let's turn the light off. So, yeah, I feel like that has kind of hindered the proceedings a bit. But at the same time, if I were that company and I were late, very late, I mean, I'll after all, I didn't get anything at all January. I didn't get anything at all February. Um, I got something March, something April and something May. But they're all late. Um, if that was me and I knew that my customers were all late in that way, I wouldn't start taking things away from them. So they've taken away, not that I as a three month subscriber would ever have had the ability to swap my yarns around for the other choices, which I think I should have done. Subscription is a subscription no matter how long it is. Um, so I think I should have had that ability to do that. Um, people who subscribe for the year get that option. So no, they've been taken that away. So um, that's gone. 
they've taken away a decent free gift. The first one I ever had was the measuring tape shaped like a heart, which is not too bad and I've used it. So um, after that, two measly tiny stickers that I wouldn't have chosen to buy in a shop. If I saw them as a big card of stickers, I would have still walked by them. And a bumper sticker that doesn't, <laughs> you know, not going to go anywhere. Not going not gonna to go on my car. So I wouldn't take, if I was in that position where I knew that my customers were going to have to um, wait for a while or <laughs> longer and or quite a considerable time. And uh, I wouldn't start taking things away. They've obviously tried different things because they tried the poly bag. Uh, the, the stickers rather than a, a decent free gift. So if that was me, I would have, as a as a sorry to my customers, I would have given them a better free gift or, um, you know, something, something a bit more substantial. That's just my personal, uh, if I were running the company, that's what I would have done to say, right, okay, we need to make it up to people rather than just say, sorry, you're going to get two measly stickers or a bumper sticker. So yeah, but the actual yarn itself, apart from the fact that I've got to cake this, which I don't mind doing, um, it is nice, this one. Not so much, this one. I um, I don't really do wool, not to that content, not that much wool content. It uh, It's too scratchy for me. I'm a bit allergic to fibres, some of them, mohair, and possibly like wool when it's got that much content. Now this one... This again is nice and soft. Um, don't think I want it next to my skin, mind you. Um, it is nice and soft though. It's, it's not bad. So I don't know. What do you think of my um, my knit crate experience? Let me know. Let me know what you think has happened to this uh, company that I always coveted and uh, wished I could get my hands on. So now I'm kind of glad it's over. <laughs> well, at least the yarn this time is something that I will use. Really, I guess. Maybe. Thank you for watching anyway. Stay safe. Take care. And this is going to take a long time to upload. I've had um, horrendous issues with my internet this morning. So much so that I ended up talking to... Um, the complaints department and they're sending out an engineer tomorrow so hopefully hopefully tomorrow when i do my videos they're not going to take three hours to upload because my my video this morning took over three hours to upload it so you might get this hmm, by the time next nick right comes out you never know so bye for now stay safe everyone